just introduce ourselves again. Uh, my name is Ben Subcheck, and I'm joined by a special guest because all the other ones have left. <laughs> Mr. Swanson, what is interesting to you about what what brings you back? Because you are, are you not taking any grad courses, so you're just doing this for fun. What what about this sport intrigues you enough to keep coming back again and again every year to help out? Um, well, part of it is I actually work for the university now, Western. So uh, you know I'm in town, but. Um, just I, there's just something about this sport that it the, I don't know if it's the nostalgia I don't know what it is it's special. Did you did you join the sport like what? Everybody has their own little dodgeball story I'm sure maybe it was because you watched the movie and then you wanted to do something like that and you found the WKU team. What what's what's your story? Because ours Alex Heichelbeck and I found a note on our car door windshield or our car windshield for WKU dodgeball tryouts and we were like oh. Oh, we got to go to this, and then just kind of fell in love with it the day one that we, we went to trials. Um, well, actually, I was a I worked for the sports clubs here, so the people that are kind of working this for the university, and I was doing the video for one of the matches, and it was WKU versus UK. It was the dodgeball opener of the season, and that game went to overtime. There was probably 50, 60 people in the stands cheering for WKU and that's something I hadn't seen outside of like you know football games basketball like, you know WKU's football games basketball games whatnot and as soon as I saw that I was like holy crap this is awesome I've got to play this and then it was just match made in heaven after that I mean this is a this is a club sport so uh, unfortunately we are not big enough yet to even get remotely looked at by the NCDA or NCAA I think we need something 75 teams and currently we're we're getting closer to closer to 30 um, at this national tournament we have 16 of those roughly 30 that are represented but this is a club sport and currently you can see the captain of WKU tried to steal the ball from his own team number 44 because he really wants to throw, but you're just, it's very rare to see um, a huge crowd. Now, when we went to Grand Valley for their nationals, their, their dodgeball team is huge. They had over 300 people watching their games at their national tournament, and that was an interesting experience because they always played, and it was so loud because there's only three courts. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they've kind of been the catalyst for... I guess the uh, appeal to the masses, um, and I think you know a lot of that comes with winning. They've won so much, and they've been so good for the entire existence of the NCDA that it just draws that kind of crowd. So you know, if you see any other kind of school step up, I bet it would follow suit with having that kind of that kind of following. I also think it has a lot to do with how much dedication is involved with their students and the people that are there. It's a very small school, and WKU is not a small school, so it's going to be much more difficult to get the word out to WKU uh, people and just students in general. Like, for instance, we went to the to the basketball game, or I'm sorry, uh, the baseball game yesterday, and some kids were talking about dodgeball right behind us. This is Jazzy and I, so it's yeah, like it's, we it's, just yeah. kind of turn like, so yeah. what are you guys doing? Because there's a national tournament. They're like, no way. So there's just so many students at every school that don't know about this sport and I think would love this sport if they knew about it. And that's one of the big pushes that the NCDA, which is now a small nonprofit organization, needs to focus on is getting the word out to various communities. But you're not going to be able to do that unless you pay for travel expenses. Heck, you pay Jazzy and I, I guarantee we'll get some schools started up pretty quick. But but that that money is 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 not in it yet. So we're only going to see hey yo things like Ball coming up to us. Yep. Uh, Alex get called in the yeah, Alex got called. Uh, not sure. We're uh, word hasn't arrived on our headsets yet from the booth. We heard it from the booth. Yeah, the we booth heard is it from not. The, we haven't heard it from the technical director yet. <laughs> Sorry, we we just don't have that. Um, Je Jazzy, we're talking about how to expand the program, and we were talking about how he got into it, how I got into it, and just just the nostalgia stories. Because at this point, this is a pretty much clear victory for WKU. Heck, I mean. WKU's captain stealing balls from other players while they're throwing, just so we can throw his own, his own throw. So at this point, this this game's over. But we're talking about what it's gonna need, what needs to happen in order for this this club to to not become a club, to become a real sport, at least in the college level. Well, I think obviously you've got to attract the attention of the NCAA. 
And the way you do that is continue growing the number of schools you have in the league. Uh, what we always heard was that 60 schools will get you some looks. 60. I thought 75. I, I, th I told the crowd, the crowd of liars. of four people the wrong number. We're jo we're, we joined the Masters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think this is his stats. Anyway, and, and I think I think we might have gotten on camera there. I think Nick Johnson, who's having a rough day as it is, got headshotted in the All Star game, knocked his head in this game, just got hit in the testicles. <laughs> by a, it wasn't a bullet, thank God, but that was a pretty good shot into his nether regions. You know, WKU is fooling around right now, and they're losing. And they're losing this point, <laughs> but it, I mean, it's 4-0. There's six minutes left. Hey, you might as well have some fun. I mean, when we were playing Jazzy, DePaul was known for their fun. Uh, they would dress up in costumes. They didn't take the sport nearly as seriously as maybe like Grand Valley State. What's going on? Shot clock. Um, shot clock. Uh, but, you know, it's good to see WKU just having some, put some smiles back on their faces after getting a couple rough shots to the face from our captain and, and uh, a pretty sounding defeat from Saginaw. Yeah, and going back to our earlier discussion of expanding the NCDA, I think it's something that goes back to what we've talked about a lot. You know, you got to have a product that people are going to want to watch. And if you've got teams that are playing this stall ball tactic, throw one ball, reset the shot clock, and bore, bore fans to death, you're never, ever going to get any type of attention from the NCAA or any other organization, for that matter, who can take this sport to the next level because it's not watchable. And what that comes down to is throws. That's plain and simple. People want to, and that, and with that comes catches. And that's really exciting. That can be really entertaining to get a really nasty throw and catch that out of the air. Or d making those diving catches. And guess what? Those don't happen without really good throws. What, one of the uh, good challenges I've heard to why this sport is, you know, it's growing. Don't get me wrong, but it's at kind of a dec decimal rate is there's 10 balls. You know, baseball, yeah, baseball, one ball. Football, one ball. Soccer, one ball. Tennis, one ball. Uh, rugby, one ball. You know, that's all you can follow the ball. But in dodgeball, that's not possible. But to challenge that challenge, a, a sport that's growing is uh, eSports. There's not one instance, it's not a one instance type of thing that happens in esports, such as League of Legends. There are things that could be happening three, four different positions of the map. Do you play League of Legends? Yes, I do. Well, oh yeah. my god. Yes. Why have we not been playing yeah. all the time? What league? Vanilla. What league are you in? Well, I've gotten up to gold before. I, I'm, I'm gold as well. There we go. We're playing on a ranked five team. That's all there is to it. What lane? God, now it's degenerated okay. into League of Legends um, talk. Um, I'm, a, I'm a good mid. Good mid lane, uh, horrible jungle. <laughs> well, the new jungle is pretty ridiculous. That's true, yeah. But uh, top lane too. We're next in top lane. Oh, dude, one of my favorite. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you're right. Esports is is a is actually becoming a massively like a big sports. Uh, the um, Dota 2 tournament, there was millions of dollars, not one million dollars. We're talking like 18 million dollars on the line for the winning team at a at a sport that is not something that most people would even consider a sport at all. Yes. Um, actually, I just read an article probably two, three weeks ago. Robert Morris University has now started giving scholarships, has outfitted, I think, uh, a handful of classrooms with state-of-the-art uh, computers, monitors, headsets. Um, that it, it's a real thing. I mean, uh, I think I read a stat that the Worlds, the you know, the, the big championship, uh, had more views online than the Super Bowl did in all of its broadcasts. I thought I read that. I'm pretty well, sure. Well, like, overall, okay. over the course of the many days that is the World Tournament, that's probably true. And, like, just live. And I keep telling people that, like, they're like, oh, this is not that big. I'm going... They're live right now at the at the World Tournament, and there's 800,000 people watching. And that is not a small number of people watching a, an internet game. So what the idea behind this conversation and getting back to dodgeball is that you can't see everything, and maybe that's part of the appeal is that there are so many balls that you have to handle and so many different players that you deal with that it becomes more entertaining because of that. It's a very spectator sport. For if you're live here, because it's very difficult 
very difficult to see everything that's going on from this. So, for instance, right now, with the iPad that we're using to broadcast this game, is it's only half of the court. We can only get half of the court to do it. And if, obviously, you had... <laughs> oh, Antos. Antos, wave! <laughs> Say hello to your mom back home. I agree with that live. This this sport is special live. Uh, it's kind of hard to follow this, but I think it all boils down to money. you got to understand League of Legends, th their system and their core was built on something that could make money. Yes. Dodgeball is not that way, which is understandable. Maybe it one day it can. Somebody could figure it out, and it could grow. Who knows? I think it'll grow because uh, what, what it's going to have to come down to, unfortunately, is people giving up a lot of free time and a, a lot of their own money in order to grow the system. Um, and those will be the martyrs. Those will be the future stadiums named after them. If dodgeball were to ever grow, yeah. and they would be the pioneers of this sport. Right. But hey. the other people have lives. What is three's name again? Wes. Wes Bratcher. Ooh. And so, you know. He's got the quickest release I've ever seen. Yeah, number three is... He just showed up, too, didn't he? Well, he yeah. played before. Today, today. Oh, this year, no. He hasn't played at all this year, or even today, yeah. He just showed up for this one. But well, yes, number three over there. Oh! Mantha. Ooh! He does not care! Wins the point. There it is. Wins the point. Done and done. I think, are they calling this one, Jazzy? You think they're going to call this one? Jazzy's back. Heichelbeck's back. Everybody's back. I think they're going to call this game, or are they going to are they gonna play another one? Or? No point. Oh. Maybe. We'll see. Just to have a little fun. I'll go down and play for WKU. One let's, minute. Let's just keep it rolling this last one second. Oh, yeah. We're going to. Uh, all right. Oh, they've okay, officially. All right. They've officially got it. Your final score today, VCU won. WKU with the victory. Four points over one. Jazzy, we're looking at DePaul for our next game. Um, victory there, too? What do you think? I think that'll be a very close game. I think you'll see like a 3-2 uh, game or a 4-3 game. Probably closer to 3-2 be very very close I think those are two evenly matched teams and hopefully Western will keep this fast-paced style we'll see all right we're gonna be back with uh, I believe we're gonna be doing uh, TU versus Bowling Green State University oh okay 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 so we're gonna be back a little bit signing out, signing out for right now